Hey everyone, welcome to Booster Tutor. I'm Brandon and our month of giveaways continues with our Throne of Eldrain Collector's Pack crack -a pack number two. All right, so we got two more packs to open, two more lucky winners are gonna get a pack opened, of course, so you get to see what you get at least, right? So if it's something crappy, hey, don't enter, I guess. I don't know, whatever, it's free cards. But like I said, thank you all so much for the 20,000 subscribers, mwah. Love you all. Let's get to it. All right, two packs. Here we go. First pack. Weaselback red cap. No, just this guy doesn't do enough. He costs too much just to get his ability to go off. So I'm not going to first pick that. Mystic Sanctuary, it's fine. Um, if you're in a blue deck and you have some instants or sorceries that are pretty good, you can bring them back with this card, but you're not gonna first pick this. Look at that art there. Memory Theft, uh, it's fine. I just, I don't know. I'm not ever really a fan of these type of cards. Um, I guess you can get them with the Adventure too, but three mana just seems like a little too much. So I'm not a fan of it, but I could see playing at least one. Definitely not first pick it though. Spore Cap Spider, I played with this. It's another fine card. It blocks for days. It can block flyers, but also not going to first pick it, and it's also just filler. Smitten Sword Master. Uh, I like this card. You know, it's adventure is good if you got a bunch of knights. Even if you don't, you know, sometimes you just ping them for one, and then two mana for two and lifelink. Hey, Child of Night, I'll play that. Not going to first pick it, though. Ooh, Searing Barrage. I have... This card, pretty good. Pretty good, I have to say. Expensive, but really good, especially late game. Five mana, deal five damage to our creature. Adamant it also deals three damage to opponent. I like this card. I'll first pick that. We'll see. Uh, Mad Ratter, if you want to go the two uh, draw sink card per turn deck, whatever. You make two rat tokens when you do. Um, I think this is like, <clears throat> it's up there for what you want to do in that deck. It's not the card you want. But it can get out of control pretty heavily, so I can see first picking that and going that route. Giant Opportunity. You know what? I was down on this card, but I like it. It's dumb. It's fun. The Especially if you can get it back from the graveyard, you make the three foods, and then you just sacrifice two to get a 7-7. Seven, seven. If you're in the food deck, this card can make a 7-7 seven, seven pretty easily and pretty fast, so I like that. Probably not going to first pick it, though. Sir Conrad the Grim. I have not played with him. I feel like he is very good though. Um, five mana, five four. Just you know, deal damage to target to each opponent for like any time a creature leaves a battlefield or graveyard or whatever. Um, and then you get the ability to each player puts a top card of their library into the graveyard, so you can maybe mill them out. But you also can deal damage if a creature goes that way. Uh, I wish you gained life also. It make him a lot better, but still, it's a way to eventually just win the game. I can see first picking it. Don't know if I don't know how it goes with those. We'll see. Twin Twin Veil Tree Folk. This is the adventure card where you get two counters on a creature for four mana, which is fine. You know, it can turn something that maybe, you know, isn't really a threat into a threat or just a good blocker. And then late game comes down for six for a six five, which can hit pretty hard, but also can get jump blocked, but at least you're killing a creature, or just hang back and just block really well too. So not gonna first pick it though, but a green filler card. Merchant of the Veil, three mana, two, three. His adventure is nice, it's only one mana. Discard a card, draw a card. And then his ability is really good, especially if you wanna go the draw a second card this turn. Um, three mana, discard a card, draw a card, and it's not even a tap, so you can pay that multiple times. Probably just twice, but still, really like this card. Wouldn't first pick it, but if it comes around, definitely gonna take it if I'm in red. Ooh, I like that art for Fairy Guide Mother. Uh, don't like the card, though. <laughs> one white for 1-1 one, one flying. And it's uh, Gift of the Fae. Is it Sorcery Adventure? Target creature gets plus 2, plus 1, gains flying on a turn. Don't like it. Sorcery. If it was instant, it'd be a little bit better just because maybe I could block with it if they attack with a flyer or, you know, I can get over their stuff. Which you can with Sorcery, but you can't really get them. It's not a combat trick. So, yeah, just unexcited by this card. Oh, our Brawl card is Command Tower. Fine card for Commander, but can't really play it in Draft. 
Uh, Hushbringer is our extended art. One in white for a one-two flying lifelink. Creatures entering battlefield or dying don't cause abilities to trigger. So now, I mean, I'm not going to first pick this if it comes around later in the game. Like, sure, two mana for a one-two flying lifelink is fine, but not very exciting. Not a card I want to take. Like, I'm definitely going white. And our foil is Dance of the Mans... Mansies? I don't know. Minzies? Uh, X, white, blue. Return up to X, target artifact and or non-aura enchantment cards. Each of the command mana costs X or less from your graveyard to battlefield. If X is six or more, these permits are four, four blah, blah, blah. No. Not, not excited about this card. Just... Yeah, yeah. It's like not even like a build around, really. It's just like, okay, I got to play a bunch of bad artifacts and enchantments, and maybe I'll get something to go off. So, no. I mean, standard card, I think, maybe. Some kind of constructed, but not limited. And a wolf token. Sweet. So, here we have Searing Barrage, Mad Ratter, and Sir Conrad the Grim. So, Searing Barrage, I like. It's fine removal, but it's not the most exciting removal. Uh, we got Mad Ratter, which is, you know, pretty good for that draw a uh, second card each turn. And then we got Sir Conrad, who's kind of just a, a game ender on his own. But I don't know how he is. I, I haven't played him in drafts. So I don't know if he's good enough for it. I know in Sealed he's, like, pretty good. Uh, I feel like you almost want to take the Mad Ratter deck because that deck is so good. But if you don't get the ability to draw second cards or anything better for that deck, it's kind of like, okay, this is fine. Um... I might just take Sir Conrad to be safer, but I really want to take this because I want to play that deck. So, yeah, let's go Sir Conrad just to be the safe bet. And there you go. All right, here we go. Collector's Booster. All right, we got Festival, or sorry, Festive Funeral. Five mana, target creature is minus X, minus X, so on turn, X number of cards in your graveyard. It's fine. It's removal. Probably want to play like one of these. And I'm not going to first pick this. And I might get cut sometimes. So not very exciting. Tome Right Raider. It's fine. Three mana. One one. Draw a card. Flying. It's, like I said, it's fine. Uh, when I first pick it, I mean, so far, sure. It's our best one out of these. Uh, Crystal Slipper. No, it's just one of those artifacts. Just not good enough. I just don't like it. Two mana. Two one. Or... 1-0 oh, and haste. Equipped to 1 at least. It's not like equipped to 5, so that's good. Garen Bridge Paladin. 4 and a green for 4-4. Four, four. Uh, this is the one that if you have adamant, it's a plus 1, plus 1. But also has the ability that can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. That's not bad, actually. I play with this card. I'm like, hey, you know what? This card's pretty good. It's a 5-5 five, five that can get chump blocked. They have to at least block with like a 3-3 three, three or something. So you're going to take out something pretty good. But also, you might just, you know, get blocked by 6-6. Six, six. But still, I kind of like it. Don't know if I'd first pick it, but I'll put it over here for now. Prize Griffin, another, like, okay, it's fine. Five mana, three, four flyer. Sure, it can win you games sometimes. Lash of Thorns, no. No, no, no. One mana, instant. Combat trick, plus two, plus one. Death touch, it's fine. Also, but not, like, this is like, oh, I guess I have to run one of these. Because I don't have any removal. <laughs> it's quasi-removal. We got a Queen of Ice. Said this before about her. Uh, damn, that was nice and foil, I have to say. Okay, anyway. Uh, I like her adventure more than her because the adventure, it's only two mana. And, you know, late game, you get to definitely hit something. Like maybe their biggest creature. Tap it down, you get an attack. Or you, you're like, okay, now I'm not going to get hit by this giant creature. When she comes down, she's basically just a blocker that will die. And then, you know, keep their creature out of commission for a turn. So... Not the most exciting creature, but any blue deck probably would would be fine running one of these. Oh, Beanstalk Giant Foil Showcase. I like that. Seven mana, star star. It's power and toughness equal to land you control, but three and a green, you get to search library for a basic land card, put it felt untapped, and then shuffle your library. I like this guy a lot. I really like this. So three mana, just get a you know land. Ramps you some, fixes you if you want, and late in the game he comes down as like just a big seven seven or eight eight whatever you want, and he has an invasion, but he blocks really well, and when he attacks he's going to take out something. So I like him. I can see first pick him over these cards. All that glitters, no, just nope. Not even if I'm in, maybe if I'm in that deck, maybe 
But even then, I'm just like, I'm not going to first pick this and be like, oh, I have to go this deck. No, don't do that. Jeez, Bone Crusher Giant. Is it foil? No, it's just regular. But, man, three mana for four, three. That whenever it's targeted, it deals two to the controller of that spell. So if they try and kill this, they're definitely going to take two. Uh, also means you can't really pump it or anything, but who cares? It's a four, three. And then its adventure is two to do two damage to anything. And can't even prevent it. So this guy, not a, like a bomb, but just so many good, just two great things put on one card, basically. And just really good. Love this guy. Easy first pick there. Love Strike Beast. I'm not a fan. I don't like him very much. Uh, three man for a five five. Sounds awesome. But you have to have a one one just for him to attack. He does make a one one for one green. But if that creature dies, he's just a five five blocker. He's basically just three mana for a five five wall, which is a very good blocker. But I'm not excited by that. It's like I don't want to be my rare or my bomb. That just kind of sucks. So very fragile. And yeah, if there's other ways to make one one humans that weren't crappy. Maybe, like maybe I've had that land that was a rare, sure, but yeah, no. Toon Veil Tree Folk, you know, four mana sorcery is uh, put two counters on a creature, two one one counters, make something small into a threat at least, or maybe you put on your flyer, which is really nice. And then he comes down late game as, you know, a six five that can block really well, or just attack, maybe kill something, maybe just get into some damage. You know, it's a filler card. It's fine. It's at least something to do late game. Just get a big dumb creature out. Oh, snap. You got our, not brawl card, but I guess our Planeswalker deck card. And we got Rowan. So freaking Planeswalker right there. Three red red for a five loyalty Planeswalker. Uh, plus one up to one target creature gets plus three plus O oh, and gains first strike until in a turn. Okay, that's fine. Sure. Uh, she deals one damage, or minus two is, she deals one damage to each of up to two target creatures. Those creatures can't block the turn. Oh, I like that. That's nice. And then minus nine, gain control of all creatures until end of turn, untap then. Okay, you know what? She's not bad for limited. I would actually definitely play her. I mean, it's not the most exciting things, but they all work pretty well. So yeah, that's nice. And our extended art. Oh, iron crack feet. Yeah, unplayable limited card, but you know. Could be good for some kind of constructed. Just you're paying four mana to get three extra red and can only cast one more spell. So you really want to cast a seven mana red spell, which is like the other rare that deals seven damage. So get out of here. And our foil is Broden Crusher Giant in Showcase. Nice. Okay, so you get two of those. Jesus Christ. This would be a good seal pool, we'll say. Okay, so we'll get rid of these commons because they're, get out of here. They're lame. You've got two Bone Crusher Giants. You got another Beanstalk Giant. Uh, get out of here, that. Let's sign in close. And then you've got your Planeswalker. And as much as I love this card, it is really dumb. You're going to be passing one, so you're definitely going to cut off in red. But you're passing two, so you're definitely going to get cut off in red for like a while. Uh, but I still just take her because I think she's a fine card. She's a Planeswalker, she has multiple abilities. Uh, she doesn't really have a way to protect herself, though, does she? Um, yeah, that is a that is a concern. She play her turn five. You better have some kind of blocker because she does nothing to help you out. And getting up to nine, it's gonna be a few turns. Hmm. Or is the Bone Crusher better? If you take both, I would love that. But I think you still take her, and I think she's still pretty fine. So. All right, there we go. Now, how would it enter? You know what? Same as last time. Pack one, pick one. What would your first pick be? Is it the value card? Is it good for draft? Is it something you need for commander? Do you like the foil? The art? I don't know, whatever. Let me know. I want to know about you. What kind of player are you? If you want to follow me on Twitter, boost your underscore Twitter, and see you next draft. This program brought to you by viewers like you.